It's on, ma'am. Okay, we're recording. I'm looking for my hook. Oh, that's an airplane. Because I was on the Chelsea Pros one, I'm like looking for the intro. Oh, this is the one you're working on. Yeah, I dyed that forever ago. I remember. I dyed it for the... Oh, that was... That pattern of the sweater that I can't oh. knit. So I changed patterns. Hello, this is Alex. This is Amanda. And this is our Ask Me Anything video. Yeah. What am I, what are we drinking today? You need to explain it. Ostrock. Ostrock, it's um, a hard cider with lavender in it apparently. Yeah, lavender hop, and you can only find it in upstate New York. I don't taste the lavender, so. Um, I taste the alcohol. Seven out of 10. <laughs> they have a honey one that's even better. I feel like honey, I tried mead, which is um, too mm -hmm. super sweet, right? No, I don't think it's sweet. I don't think it's sweet at all. I don't, I don't like it at all. No, it's honey. It's fermented honey, but it's not sweet in my opinion. It's nice. I didn't like it. I didn't, I'm not going to make it. The place it. is very bougie too, so maybe that made me not. Was it bougie priced? You had to pay for it? I think someone else paid for it. Oh, that's, it tastes good. Does it taste good? I was, I was like, I'm over it. I'm over, I'm over pre gaming here. Can we go to where we're actually supposed to go tonight? Why would you pre game with me? <sighs> Look, I have different types of friends. Okay. These are the these are the bougie gays. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. So now I I know to go out with them, but just don't pre game with them. Pre game by yourself when I go there. Right. Yeah, we spend that pre game we like money. We like different types yeah, of drugs. Yeah, bougie pre game money. All right. What we did. You posted on your Instagram stories. Yes. I posted on my Instagram stories and feed for questions. Mm -hmm. I got like four questions. I got like six. Ish. So let's get ready. Okay, yours first because you have the post it and you wrote it out. All right, so Naomi Rag asked, Are we getting married soon? Next year, 2021. 2021 is the wedding. Um, if you follow us on Instagram or if you are, or, or, if you are subscribed to our newsletters, <laughs> you'll get a wedding invite. <laughs> yeah. If you have not gotten one right now, you ain't coming. That's it. I'm sorry. It's real You tight. need to be on the newsletter. Close knit wedding. Close knit wedding. Yep. Um, uh, knit garments and crochet garments only. That's the attire. Yep. His side is crochet. My side is knit. Hello. All hands fun. That's it. It's the rule. That's it. That's um, it. Um, next question. Yep. <laughs> Who's the bride and who's the groom? Oh, well, you're your own wife, so you'd have to be the bride. I would rock a veil. You would, though. I would rock a veil. You gotta wear that highlighter jacket, though. The highlighter? The highlighter jacket. The dress, the veil. That color? Head. Yeah, that's it. I'm not against it. I wouldn't be either. Good. All right, settled. Wedding plan happening right here. Okay, classic fucking question. You skipped the question. I did not. Turn. You asked we were you, popcorn but you popcorn? no, but you asked that question. Uh huh. So now it's time for me so to. So we're doing questions. two and two. I'm, I only have like four. I have. More, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, I, have more than, I have five, I think. I don't count. Burping up hops. Go ahead. Oh, and we drank margarita. I have two. Yeah, it's a tequila. The tequila hit me when as soon as we I started. I mean, I ate cookies, so. <sighs> Goddamn walk from. Um, the where did you guys meet? We were following each other on Instagram before yes. we met in person. Yes, I was still on the farm, so it was four years ago. And then that was your first year vending at Vogue. Yeah. Because I went to your booth. Yeah, and, and you, you, you gave me a sourdough recipe. I did. And that's... Then I went to your studio. Yeah. And I left at like 12 a.m. Yeah. The first day you went? Yeah. We were sitting there talking for a There goes that. That's how we met. My sister asked that. She has she three went. other questions. Oh, Two other they? questions. What are they? You might as well go on a roll. Okay. <laughs> what made you get into Fiverr? I was on YouTube go Googling. How old were you? How old was I? 13, 14? Damn, here you go. Um, because I was, I took all the cake decorating classes at Michael's by that age. Mm -hmm. And I was looking up how to decorate. I think I needed to, I was looking up for cake, cupcake inspiration and uh, oh you're kind of like out of frame and there was a um cupcake decorate a cupcake amigurumi tutorial oh uh, okay. and i was like oh wait a minute yeah 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 i wonder how to make that yeah 
You know what? I kind of had to make that. I have all these hoods that my cousin asked me for and never picked up. And my mom oh, somehow shit. had like this flower weaving kit. Like you, you, you took like this square loom and then you made a flower and then you sewed up all these flowers and made a bag out of like this weird suede yarn. I learned how to crochet with that. I thought you were talking about that classic one. You know the one with the hook with the four things and you put the yarn over it and it comes out the middle? I think she had that too. I remember my grandma got me that one. Oh, my grandma got me none of that. I had to teach my grandma. Oh. Because no one in my, my family. My grandma just bought the grafting kits for me because she was just like, oh, Grafting? The crafting. Crafting. But that's not where I learned fiber. I learned fiber because I worked on a farm with sheep. And but I you were into it before, weren't you? I crocheted, but I didn't understand the depth of it. Okay, like, who, I just who taught crochet. you how to crochet? I think YouTube did. I don't know what I wanted to make. I don't remember that. But my grandma was crafty. Like, my grandma would make flowers. She would make, like, bags and stuff. Like, she did all the arts and crafts. Mm -hmm. She just didn't do fiber arts and crafts. And then, so I did Same. It. And she oh, would buy me all the crafting kits. Like, I would have, like, a jewelry oh, kit. I would have, like, a soap making kit. I would have soap making books. Like, I have all the crafting books, but nothing fiber related. So I was always crafty. I just didn't understand. And then I went on the farm. I still don't understand. I never do. Okay. All right. I went on the farm and then opened up the barn and then saw the bat, the wools and bags. And then you skipped a lot, but go on. Because I don't remember the middle. I stopped crocheting and I don't remember what the fuck I crocheted. And then all of a sudden, I like picked up the hook again and I could crochet. Like I don't remember like riding learning. a bike. Yeah, but I can pick it up and do it, but I have no recollection of like learning it. Mm -hmm. But I remember, but I also learned to knit, I realized. But you taught so, yourself how to knit. I taught, I must have taught myself how to knit because when I went to Vogue and I picked up the needles, my hands remembered. Oh, okay, I thought you learned how to knit at Vogue. I relearned, okay. but like, you know, when they're like, hold your, and I just went, and I held it. Okay. And I was like, oh, I must have learned how to knit some time ago, but I just don't remember when. So I don't, I don't remember teaching myself. Right that was my elbow. Yeah, but you always crack a leg. <laughs> and then I, I walked, so anyway, I walked into the barn. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> my boss is like, this is wool. I started farming and I fell in love with wool, da da da. And then there you go. Because we have sheep. That's how we got into fiber. But <laughs> even a right answer. Do you guys do anything out of the fiber slash yarn world? Sleep. Sleep. I actually, sleep. people always question if I sleep enough. Like, I sleep more than enough. Because you nap. I nap, and yeah. I also, like, I'm going to miss things because I'm going to sleep. Because I prioritize mm -hmm. sleeping that much. That's right, because when we plan stuff, I'm like, this bitch better not be asleep. Like, yeah. I really prioritize sleeping that much. Um, but I do pottery. I'm getting a degree in pottery. Um, I've done gardening a lot, but I haven't done it in a couple of years. I haven't done it since you I have gave plants, up. Though. Oh, I do have a whole room full of plants. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Got them goddamn lights. So. Yeah, and I want to get more. I want to get. You had that. You I want to get a humidifier. Though. But you have the plant. The monstera. Yeah. I got two monsteras. Oh. You traded for one and then you bought one. I got one from school. I oh. got a cutting from school and the other one was a trade for a hat. Okay. So the one that was a trade for a hat, mm -hmm. that one right now, a plant itself, like a good sized plant, is over a thousand dollars. You got money? I mean, I got a plant on my shelf. I don't have money. <laughs> um, what else do you do that's not yarn related? I farm. That's the main thing. I teach. I do a lot of teaching, I realize. I teach little kids about farming. <sighs> I eat. We both cook a lot. We both cook. I only cook on the farm though. I don't cook when I'm here. Oh, I love. I don't. Because I'm spoiled. You know, I, I have like 15 different soy sauces and 30 different freaking types of flour. Oh, on the farm. Yeah. So I don't like cooking here. So I don't. Oh. Um, I have a whole shelf of all of that. Like my dad That's is. That's how come you paid 20 something, 30 something dollars for some goddamn powder? I mean, and I'm not going. I'm going to have Xanthan gum for years <laughs> now. Like, hello. <laughs> Xanthan gum for you. Zam I don't feel like I do much of anything else. Yeah, all I do is farm and fiber. And I smoke lots of weed. Next question. <laughs> I drink lots of water. What's so the you last pee question? a lot. Yes, I do. Um, this was the end of Janelle's question, so if you want to go into yours, I have, okay. I have one more, and it's spinning related. From Janelle? No. 
Well, these are going to be spinning related, so do yours and then we'll segue into this one. Okay. Is a ladybug a good, a good first wheel for oh, art yard? I yes. can't spend more than $1,000. We answered this. You want to answer it? Um, so I think that like there's not there's more than a way of answering it. So you can get I suggest if you have the opportunity to go to a spin up and like try out different wheels to see what you don't like so that you can then see what you can afford mm -hmm. and like. Mm -hmm. Um art yarn is a really big umbrella term, right? So me and you both spin art yarn, but yeah. your art yarn is a lot thicker and denser than mine is. Mm -hmm. Um so but that also has to do because i was spinning art yarn on wheels that weren't intended for yeah. art yarn so like my style changed to accommodate that and now that i have wheels that are for it i don't i haven't really changed that style much so like i don't think i can spin my art yarn on your your sidekick um, on your sidekick can i now that i have now that i've upgraded the flyer to a bulky flyer i think you can How many of course is it? I have that, the big wooden ones. Those are at least eight ounces, I think. So, I mean, I've, I've been spinning thinner, but I still wouldn't make as much yardage on it. But you still spin the same style of yes, yarn, not yes. just production. Like that's not my yeah. product. Well, yeah. that's my production wheel when I'm lock spinning, because I'd rather lock spin on a treadle. But you don't lock spin with a core, right? You just lock spin. Right, I just lock spin. Yeah. Give me that straight so, sheet. Yeah. Straight sheet. That's different. It's a little different. Um, did I answer that question? I think you did. I always say find the project you want and don't find the project. What do you mean by find, find the project? Like there's okay. So when I started spinning, right, it was core spinning. That's what I saw on the cold, mm, and mm -hmm. that's what I want to do. And since you've known me, that's the only yarn I've been really spinning or wanted to spin. It's always core spun yarn. Right. I never liked core spun. Yes. Because you, it's the, too heavy looking. It was too heavy looking. The first core spun I saw was um, Loop. Mm -hmm. Steph mm -hmm. Gordon, I think her name is. Hers is very light. But crazy thick, yeah. And I was like, I'm not really gonna get it. I'm, yeah. I'm like, I, I, it just always scared me. Um, also, but I really liked uh, JC Boggs. This is short haired lady with the book, yeah. Okay. And she, she's the owner of Ply, I'm pretty sure. Yes, um, yes, yeah, she is. I want to do she was spinning the way she was spinning art yarn. I liked it a lot more because she was tail spinning, she was doing cocoons. So it was like a. a She's with the flowers. It was like yeah, it was like a, a, a thin single ply mm -hmm. with a shit ton of add-ons, which is yeah. kind of like what I do now. But like I've yeah. changed it up and like whatever. But so I do agree with like thinking of a project or a style that you like, and then finding a wheel that accommodates to that. Yeah, that works for if that. If I did that the did. first time, I would have. I mean, I love my frick. I need to get it back. I did that the first time though. What my frick? Yeah. The frick was intended for art yarn. There's yes. a whole book that has over like 50 something or 70 something art yarn stuff or yarn yeah styles. i think i have it mm -hmm. and that's all on the frick. frick but remember the first one i bought was an electric i bought a yeah an that electric was like with crap. a dk i broke that sucker twice no, okay. trying to make that same yarn if i just listened i don't think i would have got my bullfrog sooner because i had no money for a bullfrog but i might have shopped smarter if how much was the bullfrog 900 something dollars now it was 800 something i think it went up 100 Dollars. Yeah, they go up about a thousand a uh, hundred a year. I yeah, think. it's still cheaper than the Firefly. I mean, the shop because the Firefly has also gone up. I paid yeah. a thousand, about a thousand for it, for it with an eight ounce bobbin, and now it's I think it's like twelve. <laughs> um, do you know that the hop? No, the Firefly is like a, it's still under twelve hundred with the sixteen ounce. I think I was looking, I was pricing it out. Which is not that bad of a deal because I've made my money back on my bullfrog. I mean, you do make your money back, but what if people aren't selling? What are they doing with it if it's, if it's just for a hobby? I know. Like, how can they justify dropping yeah. over a thousand dollars on the wheel? But they kind of do hold their value. That's the nice thing about Spinolution. They don't deplete. I could I still get money for my wheel. I mean, my it. wheel just came out last year, but I could still get money from my I wheel. Right I would sell my my. I would never my sell my two current money. wheels. I would never. Sell I'm not going to go. I put stickers on all my wheels. I have stickers on my current wheel. I'm about to get a decal that says my name and holographic. The holographic paper thing on it. It's like seven bucks. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to do that. 
Welcome back. Ooh, this is a good question. James makes things. I peeped your profile. I like the things you make. What advice do you have for new spinners that aim uh, to create beautiful art yarn like you both? What do you say, Alex? Can you repeat the question? I got the question by the name. I thought it was I thought it was a James I knew, but it sounds no, familiar. No, it's no, I know the James I think you're thinking of. James, right? James? Watt, yeah. Yeah. I'm need to pee soon. What <laughs> <laughs> What advice do you have for new spinners that aim to create beautiful art yarn like you both? Advice for new spinners. Yeah. When did you Just find your start yarn? Doing it. When did you find your yarn? When did you find your mambo? When did I find? I found my mambo when I started selling to John regularly. Because he's a spin, he's a, he's a weaving customer. He buys lots of hand spun for me, and he was a customer that used my hand spun freak like instantly. Like within a week, yeah. he, he had a project done. Most customers don't even send me pictures of finished projects. Um, sure. So I was able to see how it worked up and I adjusted it that way. So I was doing lots of lock spinning and then I would do, I would do lots of lock spinning. I would do everything individually. So I would do lock spinning, that was a skein. I would do tail spun, that's a skein. Mm -hmm. I would do just skinny single, that's a skein. Uh, so I had lots of different styles mm -hmm. um, and he would buy a bunch and then mix them up. Oh, that makes sense. Um, yeah. And then I was doing a class for Skillshare and what I did was I just taught like eight techniques in a video and then from that but on that same bobbin so and when I wound that. it off I'm like oh that's cute it's art yarn <laughs> <laughs> it's color changing that's right because you do a lot of techniques in one yeah so I tail spin I lock spin I auto wrap and you do a lot different. sometimes I do I throw in cocoons when I have not seen a cocoon in your yarn in a hot minute sometimes I throw in cocoons <laughs> They'll be making they'll be making a reappearance this year. Oh, oh. I have lots of top and I'm 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 in a cocoon. Mood. Oh, okay, that's nice. I can't cocoon. I feel, some, my I I feel some cocoons coming my way. It's been. I've been what's, what's some advice you give? You would give to. Well, how long have I been making that yarn? I've been making that yarn for. It hasn't been four years since I've been making that yarn. It's been three years since I've been making that yarn, right? Because the first vote was after. Your booth folk, and it was in Annie's. And I liked Nicolaj yarn, and I liked Nicolaj colors, and I took your locks, I took your alpaca, and I took your leftover top. My first art yarn was just leftovers from your stash. Really? Yeah, that's all it was. Mm -hmm. Rose quartz was made off of that matted leftover pink. Remember? That woolly mohair shit. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I took that I made rose quartz, and everyone loved it. And I was like, shit, now I have to dye it. So I had to learn how to dye that color to make it. Yeah, it was all leftovers and five dollar bags in seconds. That's all that yarn was. So I just made a yarn, and I made it because I didn't have all that dyed top because I only had so much from you. So I had like a little you bit had of to blue. Stretch it out. I had to stretch it out, and I just took all of the wool and I just coarse cut it on, and then that's how I made that yarn. I literally made it off of fucking nothing. And then it's my most like, that's what people know me for. Can you imagine that? Damn. I mean, for me, it's for a class. I don't, I don't even know if Skillshare, I think Skillshare knocked down that class. Really? They kept the dying one. They you did a dying one too? Yeah, I did a dying one for them. They, they paid, they, I did a sponsor. Mm -hmm. Sponsorship? Maybe you paid things with them? Listen, you just one famous asshole. I'm just out here being a regular. I've been in this game for a minute. So I know, I know. You and your 14,000 followers. I um, but no, I, I, I did a sponsorship. I think they had big, if I didn't, I had like two weeks to record and post a class. And then they paid me X amount. And then if I like got X amount of people to subscribe, by mm -hmm. X, like I got another like 100 bucks or some shit. So it was pretty... But it's like, it's, that was when they were trying to roll out more crafting onto the platform until yeah. they like looked up for these people. Yeah, neither of our classes, neither of our yarns were intended. For it what? It just happened. Your mambo yarn and my boho yarn. I mean, I was spinning it for a show, but I didn't realize what I was making when I was making it. Yeah, those styles of yarn, because I still do lots of like, I do kitchen sink, which that I intend yeah. to like, I just stash like yeah. the stuff off of the bats and mm -hmm. things. And I stash that to like spin a single and then ply it, spiral ply it. Because people like that. 
I feel that one. I because I really like yarn construction. I like flying. I just don't do it enough. But I'm not gonna do it with a core. I do it without a core. But I barely. Spin Which is why I don't core spin because I don't. I like flying, and I also like yardage. And you don't. Really I stretch. Yardage. I stretch my yardage, because I put all those different fibers in it. It's just annoying as hell when you have to have five different fleeces at the bottom just so you can make one dusty yard. Uh, I moral of the story is just spin it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we answered the question, but just spin it. I don't. I don't know. Just make spin it. it. Don't be afraid to make it to, to be wrong and yeah. for it to be over twisted and crappy. All my yarn is over twisted. Mm -hmm. All my yarn is extremely over twisted. You're the only and person take who classes. Like that. Take classes. Did you say I wouldn't say take classes? I didn't take classes. Oh, I, mm, that's not I would take I classes. Would I would class. watch YouTube videos like I, like the Woolery. I have skill stuff on. I mean, I have stuff on Skillshare this actually. Self um, promo right now. Always, but like, <laughs> like just look up other tutorials to see how people spin the same type of yarn that you're looking for. Because yeah. then everyone will spin it differently, and yeah. one way is gonna click for you, and another way is gonna make what the fuck is going on. Or you're gonna spin it, and you're just gonna make your own way. Like you're right. supposed to hold correspond at ninety degrees, and I hold it at forty five. And and Choi. Mm -hmm. She's core spins uh, counterclockwise, like you're plying. It makes more sense for her. When she was, she spun on. The, when she went to my studio, she spun this way. What? Because it's turning this way. Okay. Yeah, so it's the fibers going around that way. I think. She spins. She moves her hand different. I don't this know. is this is big sister. But she goes, little sister. I don't know about no sisters. Okay, so I got one. Oh, I got two. When I be teaching, right? When I be teaching, <laughs> I tell the people because you know people are left-handed and right-handed, and like I don't want to tell them left or right because they're right. gonna get confused. So I say, big sister holds the core, and your auto wrap, and little sister holds your fiber. Little sister didn't go to college. But you know, you know that's like your, that's your ag background. The three sisters. You know, you never thought you never made that connection. No, I don't make many connections. I've done that, like the, the cake decorating technique I did when I was doing cake, when I was cake decorating, like when I was like 12 and 13 and like selling cakes to church. <laughs> now that's that same... You just getting that wholesome, that wholesome back? <laughs> that same decoration, I now I'm doing it on pottery. And I didn't notice until I looked back, I'm like, people, oh that looks like Keith Haring. I didn't know about Keith Haring when I was 11. I got you, got you, I got you. Hey, why didn't you bring no cake? You didn't bring no cake here. We want a cup of Never mind. Yes, cupcakes. I do. <laughs> All right. What's the craziest commission you got? What's the craziest one? When I was working at Lion Brand, I think someone was working at Lion Brand, or I might have got this one off Craigslist. Just don't get commission off Craigslist. The is coming. Um, hold it in while I finish the story. <laughs> I had to fix this. By the time scratchy... it up, is Lion Brand gonna be gone? No, oh. but they're closing. Their store is closing. The company isn't closing. The New York City no, store. Um, they. This lady brought me a. I think it was off Craigslist because she brought it to my house. Um, right. It was full of mo like it was. The twenty minute intervals when it brings you something when it stops. Maybe I forgot. That's how Christina's is. Um, what did she? Did she bring you a skein of yarn? No, she brought me a granny square afghan. Okay. I had to fix that. I fi I had fixed three granny squares in my life. This was the one that was like, I'm not fixing granny squares This anymore. is the one that ended it all? Every, and I have another commission from hell too. I have a couple <laughs> commissions from hell, which is why I don't really take many commissions. Um, but it's more like you need to set up boundaries with these customers before you even accept money or accept payment and accept like the product that you're gonna make or fix. Um, but that was the worst one because I had to fix a bunch of squares and things were just like break spontaneous. She loved it. She said it was great. I feel like it was gonna break in a week after. Like it's like it's like she needed like just pay me to make a new one. Was it actually wool? Maybe I think it was just dry clean, so it was crunchy. It was just like oh. crunch. It was. I've never taken a commission where we had to fix something. I've only taken yarn commissions. That's the only thing people know me for. So I just had to spin. I've only I've only had two yarn commissions. Mm -hmm. I got I, I got one, one in twenty fourteen. Huh. When I went up to Copaskill, mm -hmm. my um, slightly racist, confederate-loving, upstate New York roommates 
mother commissioned me for sock yarn. First and last time I spun free and weight yarn. She loved it. I was not here for it. Um, and then I spun yarn for a designer from that was that one has that one had cocoons. She's from Australia. You did art yarn. I did art yarn. She bought one and loved it, and then she was like, "I need eight of these." I'm like, yarn. "Okay." There's a lot of yardage. I know. It was like four ounce bats. Oh. I would buy. I bought four ounce bats. I wasn't. Ba I still. I mean, I still don't make bats. But I, <laughs> I bought these bats off of Etsy, and then this person, this person makes them each time. So I'm like, I need eight of these, and I would like rip out the inside, all the white part, like the base layer was white, so I ripped it all off. Mm -hmm. That became the cocoon. The oh, rest was green and sparkle, and that was a single. That's smart. You smart. You smart. But you, already, you thought you already knew that. I just realized every time we get to yellow. Mm -hmm. Alright, go pee. Or you, did away. you answer that question? It went, no, because I don't What's have any oh. I don't have any crazy commissions. People just ask me for yarn and the yardage is always a lot because it's a commission. Mm hmm But it's never crazy. Like no one asked me to ever do anything that I know I do. Yeah, it's not out of the norm. Yeah. Yeah, like you remember that girl at Vogue whose name I can't remember? Sweetie something is her Instagram name. She was wearing a cardigan <laughs> knit in my yarn. The neon Regular yarn. We took a picture together. You're right there. Mm -hmm. I believe you. Okay. I believe you. She I do right believe there. you. It was knit in summertime. T Y M E. <clears throat> That's what the colorway is called because it's the Jamaican. Summertime. Summertime in the boom boom. Oh, T Y M E. Next question. Next question. Um, what's your favorite and least favorite fiber to work with? My favorite is Gotland. Cause you like the money locks. It's because they remind me of my locks, and I also I, I wish I, I wish I wasn't balding. Yeah, so like I can see my hair gray. I find gray hair really beautiful. I think so too. I like it. On the black woman. Is your least favorite alpaca right now? Cause you're sick of it. My least favorite. You were going through a phase right when you didn't like alpaca. You were tired of alpaca. I think I'm still in that phase. Oh, okay. So it's alpaca. It's alpaca. I still um, have a lot of it. I'm trying to work through it. I don't have a least favorite. Fiber. My Lies. favorite fiber? I don't. If it's cheap, expensive. What if, someone, what if it's if... expensive and I have to pay for it, which I usually don't, then I don't like it. Mm. If it's cheap, I can work with it. I like it. Uh, I think my favorite right now is um. I love Jacob. Jacob's my favorite. Like I wouldn't if so, like I wouldn't pay for that, and I wouldn't accept it for free. <laughs> And I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> like I knew you were gonna bring up that breed. Yeah. Why is it goddamn shady? But it's black and white. You don't have. It's so pretty when it's coarse in it. I don't care about the color of it. The texture is itchy. Who am I gonna sell this rug yarn to? My customers don't. Most of my customers aren't into that. Okay, but coarse on my yarn is really just jacket wear. It's not sweater wear. Okay. So, and I like black alpaca. I love me some black alpaca, but it's, it's not cheap. No, that's why I don't have any right now. But it's deep. It's like black. I've it's had rich. one whole fleece my whole spinning career. I bought a fleece. Oh, and I think I spun the first I got a discount fleece for 30 bucks. I got a pound of it. Is that the one you're... I'm almost out. I'm not. Wow. Why you gotta be like that for? I think I like the coffee cup because it makes us look a little bit more sophisticated. Like we're drinking tea? Yeah. I feel like classy. Like a... Hot mess of class. Cause I can't see my face. Aww, <laughs> Re answered it. Next one. What's your favorite spinning slash dyeing technique? She's Manda. She bought um she bought stuff from me. She's my only patron that does bats. Oh shit! She's my, yeah, she, she, she's 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 girl. You're a real one. Shout out to you. She really is. Bow, bow, bow. Wait, what's the question? I started saying that from Kevin Hart, and my brother got real upset at me. Randy, my older one. He was like, you better not. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite spinning slash dyeing technique? Tail spinning? For you? I like kettle dyeing. And spinning technique? Tail. Lock spinning. I rather oh, lock, lock spin it. Spinning. It's just quicker. Yeah. You do a mean lock spin. I can't lock spin. Um, I can lock spin with my eyes closed and I probably did it for Vogue. <laughs> <laughs> Horse fitting for me, even though it it harms the earth. Why? No, my next dyeing technique. I like oh. painting on roving. 
Not if, not if we figure out how to I know. reuse the plastic. I want to master the amount of dye and water I use in it so that I can put it in something that's not as tight and not have drippage. Does that make sense? Yeah, we yeah. don't want drippage. Yeah, because then all your colors are messed up and I might as well just put in a little immersion. So I like painting on roving and then you have to cover it with plastic and then steam it so that you get real bright, not bright vivid, but I should say like really solid blocks of color. That's how you get a really yeah, nice rainbow. Clean, so, crisp. Yes, clean and crisp. That's what I would like if I was doing a roving, if I was just spinning from a roving. I don't want my colors to bleed into one another like that. So it's my favorite technique in spinning technique. It's always core. Yeah. Even though I love long draw, I just really love spinning. I'd rather actually spin than die. Um, yeah. yeah. I'd rather just, I really like kettle dyeing because it reminds me of cooking. Kettle dyeing is easy though too. You just and put it in there. Right. There's no pain stain, there's no nope. measuring. Fuck it's just that. easy as shit. I just, oh, this is fucking Sarah. What she said? Oh, those pasta, <laughs> pasta. Oh, the pizza there? <laughs> we can record it later. Yeah, that could, yeah, that yeah. could be the intro. Goddamn Sarah. Can, <laughs> can we get a close? Sitting there waiting. How long have you been a fiber artist? And how did you get started? I, uh, we technically answered the second part in the beginning. I've been spinning for four years now, I think. I've been crocheting for like, I think it'll be 10. This. How long have you been spinning? Minus two. <laughs> <laughs> Long ass time, longer than me. I, I think I've just been doing the same yarn for four years i think that's the only thing i haven't really done other yarns we're just in the same fucking one and if you think about it if you just been the same goddamn thing day after day you're gonna really get good at your technique that's the only thing i'm practicing not that i want to do other things honestly because i do that one pretty freaking fast do you say that now and then you're gonna be tired of this shit like mm -hmm. alex was buying yarn and it was like fuck this shit i'm already tired though I'm very tired. I need to pee. Next question. Mm? What are you drinking? We went over that syrup. Where would Alex go on vacation? The bed. Bali. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's that's my that's the next vacation. I Why didn't Sarah ask me this question? I would go to Disney World, Sarah. Because she probably already knew that answer. Okay, but the people don't know. The people know you're obsessed with Disney, but okay. That's not the point. I would probably also go to Cuba, but. I, I may not. I may not now. leave. Not really. I may not leave. Like I mean, just like. Stay there for Where did Alex go? Where's Alex? Oh train? shit! I keep on pressing it, and then it. Moves. See all. Oh. This is what you got brains. Favorite fiber breed. <sighs> let's do like, let's do sheep, and then do in general. Okay. So for me, for sheep. The BFLs. <sighs> Scotland. It's Scotland. Border Luster, actually. That's the that's they're, rabbit one, right? I think they have rabbity ears. Yeah. Um, but because they're pretty cheap, fleece-wise, like $35, $40 a fleece, mm -hmm. they're kind of big. And yeah, they're cheap because they're meat sheep. They're mainly meat sheep. Um, they're curly. It's not very soft, like, but it's great for curls. It's yeah. It's great for curls, so I like that one. But for, in general... Actually, we still kind of like alpaca is still my favorite. Like oh, Mahaka? Wakaya. Wakaya? <laughs> yeah, Mahaka. Not, not, not Surrey. <laughs> Best music to spin to, Beyonce. Best music to spin to, Celia Cruz. I need a beat. I need salsa. Yeah, I need Cuban to music. Beat. I like listening to hip hop too when I'm spinning. Has to be a beat. I mean, even, but even, even, though, even though I love some ballads, and sometimes Same. if I'm just spinning, I just watch like I need to watch something because sometimes How can you watch music is because I'm just like, nah, I can't. I have to look at my hands. Mm -mm. I have to rewatch it so that I don't look at it because I'll look and then I'll get captured and I won't spin. It has to be in English or Spanish. I can't do subtitles. I mean, I always, I usually always have subtitles, but mm -hmm. I can't read it. Like I can't. It you has, can't. Yeah, you can't. I can't be you. reading and spinning. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's it. I'll have Beyonce on unless the theme has a music relation to it. But I, and if it's music, it's fine because there's no reason for me to look. But if it is something, it can't be something I've 
not seen because I'll watch it. Like if it's a new movie, I'll be like, and then I won't move my hands. And then that's how we sit. But we sit and spin for a longer period of time than the average person. Yeah. But also, like, for me, if I'm listening to music, I'm working and moving around, usually. Yeah, same. If I... Wa I'm watching something, I'm sitting You're and sitting spinning and crochet. Yeah. Like, if I... It just helps me get into the mood better. Like, I'm not just gonna die. I'm gonna die and I'm gonna watch with at the same time. Oh, you're out And the right. music beat. Oh, shit. I think it's because, like, my legs are crossed out. So you <sighs> That's because I look like a fat lard when I was laying down. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see me look. I was like, this. I was like, no. <laughs> I was like damn, girl, sit up. Because I look like a fat lard. <laughs> it's fat and fat. Oh, God damn. What was that saying? That you look like a fat lard? Yes, before that. Um, sit because and spin and when I'm. When you're sitting down? When I'm sitting down. Like no, before I'm sitting. That didn't really suck. If I'm dying, then I'm washing plates at the same time because I can't do one and then do the other. That's a waste of money. I gotta do both. If you're washing it? Like if I'm dying something, which means like kettle dying, then uh -huh. I'll have. I'll be washing fleece somewhere else instead of doing one at a time. Because you, you need to do more than one. I need to do more than one. Right. I need to maximize that time. And then I'll have music on because I'm moving. Whatever. Boom, boom, boom. But then when I sit, sometimes I will have a playlist. Like, I'll tell Alexa to, like, I don't know. I will listen to some, some folk music sometimes too. If I just want, like, a calm, like. Folk music? Indie folk music, yeah. Which means, like, what? Like, blue jazz? I, or bluegrass? Bluegrass. Like, no, not, no, 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 not bluegrass. Like, like very calm, but I don't know. Kobe Kelly? Like, was it Mumford and Sons? Yeah, like Mumford and Sons and stuff. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to use a Oh, camera's dying. <laughs> what do you refuse to knit and crochet? What do you refuse to knit and crochet? Okay, wait. We're gonna say it as I count to three, okay? One, two, three. Granny Stop. squares. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say socks. I <sighs> not socks. You need a pair of socks or crochet a pair of socks. You crochet socks. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can crochet anything. Socks. I would not. I would not crochet socks. You can crochet slippers. Yeah, I've done that. Okay. I don't think crochet is comfortable for your feet. I've done, that's Probably what, not. When yeah. I first started, it wasn't. I didn't like it. Um, I I would. I think I'll do. No, I don't. I haven't finished a pair of socks forever, but I can pop out oh, granny squares in a minute. But what would I do with these granny squares? I actually kind of loathe granny squares. Yeah, we talked about that once upon a time at a place with mirrors and an elevator. Hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You remember that? Nope. You remember that when we had that? We were going down, and we saw all the granny squares, and I was like. Hmm. No? Where was this? Revoke. Mirror with elevators. Anyways, next question. Escalator. Not elevators. I have a fear. I, I can... Think. You have a fear of elevators? Yeah, right now. So hard. Do you want to get stuck in them? No, because I went on that you ride. Think, you think it's going to drop? No, I went on... Yes, because I went on that ride at Disneyland. Are you going to die after? No, but the drop kills me. You know you're going to die. Like, it's a fact. <laughs> The fucking drop in the in the ride in Disneyland when they like, That's what makes you So then what, now when I go in elevators the drop makes you like <gasps> well, if it had the Like your stomach? Yeah. That must have been cars too. Over hills? I don't like being yeah. on hills. That's what happens. Oh, I don't like the drop of the stomach. I can do upside down, but I don't like the There's one on the west side highway. Why you on the highway? You don't drive. I don't, but I got family that do. Oh. And growing up, we would always take that side and it would bloop, bloop. Mm. I would remember it. Like, oh, wait, no, wait, your stomach. Oh. You got, no, you have to squeeze it. Yeah. If you squeeze it and you bend over, you're Gucci. I, I learned that. I did but that. But then once, I, once we realized where that bump was, <laughs> we all were like, our cousins were all like, holding our stomachs and like, bending over. I can't stand that. Concentration. Did I tell you about that time in Disneyland when I went? I thought it was that long ago. When I got on that ride? Right, recently, right now, you went to California? Yeah. Oh. How I got on it, did I tell you? No. So I was walking up to it, and it was like a five-minute wait on no. the app. Mm -mm. I didn't tell you this? 
You can see how long the waits are on apps? Yeah, on the app. And I was like, oh, that's real quick. I'll go on the ride. Because, you know, you get to the park, you want to go on all the rides, right? And I'm outside of it, and it looks like Tower of Terror. And my mind was like, wow, it looks like Tower of Terror. And Tower of Terror is that one with the elevator, and they open up and they drop you. I mean, go on. <laughs> so, but it's the garden. <laughs> it's the Garden of Galaxy, right? That's mm -hmm. the ride. So there's all this cool stuff in like the lobby. I don't care, cool, whatever. Fast forward, I get in the ride, and it's a square, and everyone's sitting down, and they say, put your seatbelts on. And the seatbelt goes over your lap. And the woman steps out, and like that's when I had that light bulb moment, and I looked, and I looked at everyone beside me, and I was like, what kind of ride is this? And then it closed, and then it went up, and then it started dropping. I had no idea what ride it was. So you waited in line for a ride you knew <laughs> no idea. Okay. I mean, I've lived that life. I've done things I like that. I was so scared. I couldn't even scream. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know when you're scared, you're like, <gasps> like, that yeah, was me. I and like, know. this dumbass raccoon goes, put your hands up so you can get surveillance, right? Because you have clearance. That's what it is, not surveillance, clearance, wrong word. And he's like, put your hands up. And I was like, hmm, boom. And it dropped me. And then I was in the front. My dumb ass was in the front too. So I just buckled and like held. And it went whoop, whoop. And then Sarah told me that it doesn't actually drop you. It pulls you. And that's how come there's so much that you feel. How does she know? She's been on it? Or she just like knows She know. Trivia. Well, you know, Andy used to work for them. But she, I think she must have known because she asked. Because it used to be there was only one drop. Now it's random. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's two select times in the ride because you come up and then you see all the characters and then it goes up, comes back down, you see all the characters and then that's like the random part of the ride. But ever since then, every time I'm in the elevator and it like starts to drop, I'm like, because <gasps> the one in the Marriott Marquis has a pull to it and I freaked out. So it does. To, yeah, but it's because there's, there's like 400, 400 floors. Yep, so I had to take that like When I was helping them, I couldn't go on it. Me. I kind of want to go to the stores here that have cider because I want more, but go on. Or maybe actually I'll try an iPhone. And there might be one question. Yeah, oh, there's a sour in there. That's what I meant. Dream place to teach a class. Is that the last one? Yes. Out of the two questions? Oh, someone sent me a question in the DMs. So you this is the second last. to last. Yeah. Dream place to teach a class. A dream place to teach a class. Ply away? I'm not, I'm gonna consider because I want to do more spinning, so I think I'm gonna I'm apply. I'm to apply. apply, I think it'd be cool just. I think it spinners, starts. Right? I think you have to apply. I'll be applying for like 2021. 20, 2021. I think it's in April. I think it'd be cool to apply to something that just has spinners. Because uh, then that means the marketplace just has fiber. I don't really want to buy yarn. I want to buy fiber. I don't know where it would be, but it's more like who I want to teach. I want to teach advanced knitters. I don't. I'm tired of teaching beginners, so I want to teach advanced knitters like new ways to make things or like people that mm -hmm. already had like so when I was teaching at this I wasn't teaching I was just working at the ceramic studio there were eight week long classes for the ceramic studios and like the instructors help these students create products they want for those eight That's weeks cool. I kind of want to do that but with knitting that'd be cool because then you see the progress right you see the progress you, you have time to build the relationship with the student yeah um and then you can really like hand hold them and like, well, no, you're really, you, since you're starting at this point, mm -hmm. well, why don't you just do this instead of doing that? It might be easier for you. And then you can go do the other things that you like gain some confidence. Yeah, then you don't have to rush. Which that's what I kind of like about teaching, like really seeing people's strengths and helping. That makes sense. Cause my class was, that first class that I taught was six hours. And people no. were like, that's kind of long. And I'm like, yeah, but you need so much time to just understand. And build up that muscle mm -hmm. memory. And especially for me to be like, yeah, let's course spin for your first time huh? while spinning fibers, and you're gonna hold the auto wrap. Well, like, mm. oh I my just God, learned how to it. spin a single mass <laughs> knot, Miss Amanda. It was so funny because these people had knots, and I was like, listen, let me teach you something. I learned from Alex. We ain't got time for that. Mm -mm, cut it out. Boom, boom. Start again. Oh. Someone was like, oh, you helped me out. I knew the city untangle yarn. And I was like, I helped you what? Like. And so she's like, you, and she's like, yeah, you asked me if I could cut it. I was like, oh yeah, that's all about me. <laughs> I was like, I helped you do you what? You did not take out knots. I helped you do okay, what? Right. You have the wrong Alex. Yep. You have the wrong queer. Yep. You have the wrong bald bitch. Yep. And then she's like, you helped me. You said you asked me if I could cut. I'm like, oh wait, no, it checks out. <laughs> Why are you wasting that time? 
Okay, this is from Patty. What kind of spinning wheel do you use? How much fiber do you spin at once? Is there a yardage amount you try to spin? Number one, I use a Spin Illusion Bullfrog. Came out last year. You use a Sidekick and a Firefly. A Shack Sidekick Shack, and yeah, a Spin Illusion Firefly, Firefly, which is an electric wheel. Yes. He's a, he's a two treadle and he has an electric. I have like a, I want to call it like a toe treadle because you don't use your But it's still a two treadle. It's still a two treadle, but I use my toes. I think I'm using my spinning wheel wrong because my feet were getting tired. Mm. And I think it's really your big toe and you're not supposed to spin with your more angle. than one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that if it's just your big toe. But it moves on its own. Yeah, there's momentum yes. to it. Yes. So momentum. that's how come I was like, oh, my feet are getting tired because I'm not using it right. I'm not supposed to be treadling. Mm -hmm. I'm just supposed to be tapping it. Like and keeping like, the momentum going. Yeah. Yeah. So let's retrain my feet, which is insane. How much fiber do you spin at once? I have no fucking idea. I, I started weighing it out like last year, or maybe the year before that. Like when I. You spin a single. You have a core in it. You have a core in it. I don't have a core in it. Yeah, you can weigh your yarn. Right, you can still weigh the fiber. You don't weigh your fiber. I don't weigh my fiber. Right. I want to. So start doing it. That's, I, I started doing it when I went for the studio, so like just for consistency. So mm -hmm. I spin about for a for my lock spun, which I now only spin most of it on my sidekick, which is my treadle wheel, um, between six to eight ounces of locks. Okay. For the mambos. They're like seven to nine ounces, but that has a mix of different fibers in it. Mm. Um, but that's your answer for me. I want to do an ounce of each fiber and spin it and see how much yardage I get. Because that will give me a good gauge of how much I use in each. Or at least to just portion it out better. Right? Like an ounce of top, an ounce of this, an ounce of this. How much yardage I get? But that will happen one day when I'm not trying to spin a shit too. Is there a yardage amount you're trying to spin as much as possible? Yeah, I like spinning a lot of yardage. I don't really have a goal yardage because um, yeah. you can't really count yardage as you spin. You can kind of gauge it though. I can gauge how much yardage I have on my, my bobbin. But only after you've unwound it and know what yes. this full bobbin looks like and how yeah. much that full bobbin is. Yeah, so I at least always try to get a half a bobbin because that's at least 100 something yards or close to 100 yards. Because a full bobbin is 200, so if you just... I have 16 ounces, so then you break them in half. Yeah, I spin mm -hmm. half the size that you do, because my a full bobbin, for me, a full 8-ounce bobbin, I can get 200 yards. Damn! Bobbin. Right. You could get 400-something yards on my bobbin. Who who am I going to sell 400 yards of pants know. on to? <laughs> that's the problem. That's what I mean. I'm scared to have that that big, because I'm, like, people are barely buying a full 8-ounce bobbin work. It's a lot of yard, but it's good for orders. People that have, it's good for people that have, well, it's, yeah, but I don't spin like that. I've tried and I can't. Yeah. Right now I'm trying to spin stuff for, oh, my mother texted me. Right now I'm trying to spin stuff for, I was trying to spin stuff for Valentine's Day, just a shit ton of that. pink. I did that shit. Two bobbins in, I'm like, I'm tired of pink. I, I'm not a pink spinner, but that worked. I don't know why. But it works. But I spin a lot of pink. For some reason, now, now that I'm forcing myself to spin pink, you can't I'm spin. hating it. But I, I themed it to Nicki Minaj pink print, so it helped. I don't fuck with Nicki. Bye, Onika. Okay, but she's from the island, you know. We don't have many people, and if a tsunami came, we would be gone. You got Rihanna. She's Barbados! She's Nick Daddy's an island. Okay, but Nicki Minaj she's is actually island, from yeah. Trinidad. She's actually from the place. And from Queens, too. You yes. Know, you're from all just... over, but... Whatever. Yeah. But she's messy, so I mean, but so am I. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> like, who are we? <laughs> Some well put individuals. That's what it looks like. Next question. I think that's it. I have six messages from Sarah, and I think I went through both of them. Oh, Shayla asked us something on my post. Oh, Shayla Black is Pearl. Black Pearl. Yeah. I, you know, so I, I was looking for her because I knew she was at Vogue Knitting and I saw her husband and his bald head. So I ran up to him and I was like, where is she? And he like looked at me and like pointed and then I ambushed her as she was with someone. I love her. It was this post. She's so funny. She asked us why we're cool or something. Why are you two so freaking bomb? Because that's just the life we live. Right. That's it or nothing at all. Sexiest fiber couple right here. I didn't choose this right life. Here. The life chose me. Word. Word. 
out here in these streets of Boston. And with that being said, um, we did it. We did it. Did we did it. it. We finished the bottle and we finished the question. Mm -hmm. Our links, our websites are down below. Mm -hmm. The um, Fiber Retreat is down below. We'll make a video for that. We, that's our next video. <laughs> not sure if it's going to happen here in Boston or not. Sure. Um, but check out our websites. Our retreat is in October. Follow us on Instagram. We're here at Boston. Are you going to be at anything in the next couple months? I'll take that as a no. It's probably like can't stand you. <laughs> I can't stand you. Oh, that's right. We're that's both coming doing up in Citrus March. United. Yes. Excellent. Oh shit. I uh, no, I didn't forget about it. I didn't forget about it. No. No. You were not just surprised right now. Mm -hmm. okay. I was delighted. You were delighted that because I, I got re excited. Amen. <laughs> God is good. And oh, with that, God. I'm gonna end this video. <laughs> Before the Christians get mad at us.